Hello Helldivers and welcome to another Helldivers 2 news video. Today I thought about dropping a lot of leaks for you guys, but actually some stuff happened in the game that we need to talk about. Which basically means that today is gonna be more of a discussion type video and since it won't have any leaks, most likely it won't do very well for my channel, but I just wanna talk about it. But if you are interested in Helldivers 2 news leaks and whatever else, then make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel. A new leak video is is going to come out tomorrow along with a breakdown of the trailer of the next war bomb and since there won't be any time to mention this somewhere else in the video i am running a giveaway on this channel for this really dope coaster i might turn it into two coaster it depends on how we do but in order for you to get in the giveaway all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and comment a yellow heart I'll be doing this for all of the videos in this week and I'll pick a winner from one of the comments of one of the videos from this week. Today we only have one subject on the agenda and it's something that is kind of a little bit scary for the future of the game. PSN account linking will now be mandatory as of June 4th you will not be able to play the game if you have not linked your Steam and PSN accounts. If you don't have a PSN account then you better make one. Let's first read the full announcement so we are all on the same page about this. this comes from Baskinator on the Helldivers 2 official Discord announcements page. For posterity, here's a message published earlier on the Helldivers 2 Steam regarding account linking. Attention Helldivers, due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire, see details below in this post. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to an appeal. As such, as of May 6th, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have linked the Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up by using this link. We understand that while this may be an inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us continue to build a community that you are all proud to be a part of. Many thanks for your continued support of Helldivers 2. Sony Interactive Entertainment. And as you can see by all of the reactions to this post, the community right now is hating this decision and I cannot blame them. At the moment the Discord server looks like someone just threw a pipe bomb at it. Everybody is going crazy. And a lot of people have been sharing this copy pasta. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio games. April 2011, hackers access personal data of 77 million Sony PlayStation Network users. May 2011, personal details on 25 million Sony Online Entertainment customers stolen. June 2011, Sony Pictures website hacked, exposing 1 million accounts. November 2014, hackers steal 100 terabytes of data from Sony Pictures. August 2017, hacker group accesses Sony social media accounts. September 2023, Sony investigates alleged hack. October 2023, Sony notifies employees of data breach. And are those legitimate concerns? Uh, I'm a little bit iffy on it because, let's face it, most companies do face data breaches, so that's not something exclusive to Sony. However, I can absolutely understand why some people may be averse to giving more data to more companies. And before I move on to the larger sentiment of the community, I would like to note what my personal beef is with this whole decision, which is most likely made by PlayStation. I do not own a PlayStation and I do not need a PlayStation Network account. I would only own a PlayStation if my YouTube channel blew up and playing PlayStation games actually made sense, but until that point, I would have never created a PlayStation network account. Not only this, I'm pretty much sick of creating accounts everywhere and I have no idea which email I used for what and what my username is, what my password is, because I use different passwords for different things and oh my god, it's just... Why? There's also this sentiment that has been attributed to Pirate Software, which I really agree with. I bought this game on Steam with the intention of playing it, 
on Steam. I do not now nor will I ever have a PlayStation account. Forcing players to link or be banned from the game months after release is unacceptable. I would refund if I had the opportunity to do so. Honestly absurd behavior from Arrowhead. I do not know if Pirate Software actually said this but even if he didn't I really agree with this opinion. And I can talk about this for hours but for the sake of being succinct I'm not going to do that. But if you go on the PlayStation website, you can see, do I have to sign into PSN to play a PlayStation game on PC? Signing into PSN is optional when playing a PlayStation game on PC. So why are we being forced? And of course, a lot of people will say, oh, but you still create content for Helldivers 2, so why are you crying about it? And look, yes, I will continue to create content for Helldivers 2, but now I will have it on my mind that, okay, Arrowhead are not as independent as their CEO tried to tell us they are. I was singing the praises of Arrowhead Studios up and down the block of how Sony is just a publisher and no ugly monetization practices will rear their heads in the game. Well, now I'm not so sure. And just for you to get a better understanding of what the fallout from this decision is, right now on Steam the game is pretty much getting review bombed because of the PlayStation debacle. The negative reviews are a lot and they're coming in quick and it's really interesting that they are coming in from a lot of people with hundreds of hours into this game. I'm showing you just a very small sliver of the reviews that have been posted ever since the decision was announced and I gotta say, most of them are actually very positive on the game itself. Just this this decision to make PSN account linking mandatory is breaking everything for Arrowhead Studios. So how about we hop onto Reddit and see what the response of the community is over there. Quote, we are not owned by Sony, we are a strong independent developer that makes our own decisions. Now give all of your information to Sony or you're not allowed to play the game. And the CEO of Arrowhead Studios is on record saying that the studio is completely 100% independent and Sony is just a publisher. Well... You know. Next up we have a post which explains in great detail why this decision makes no sense and why it's so bad for the game. PSN is available in 69 countries around the world. Right now there are roughly 190 independent countries in the world. The whole of Africa, except for South Africa, Egypt and even European countries like Belarus do not have PSN. But OP, these are mini states that don't have fair laws, yada yada yada. The Baltics, states that are a part of the European Union, are also excluded. These people cannot create accounts. If your country is not on the list, try to create account in a supported region. But remember, Sony has the right to ban you for false credentials. You need a VPN and must pay in the currency of the country you choose. Maybe this helps you understand why some people are annoyed. They will be locked out. Sony must find a solution for this and it cannot be lie about your credentials and risk we might ban your Helldivers account. I was able to link my account, it still sucks ass. TODR, PSN is not available worldwide, not even in all countries of the EU. Sony has the right to ban everyone who uses the wrong credentials. Edit, this post is only supposed to give some background because a lot of you don't seem to know this. Next up, the game is being taken away from me. It seems that this person managed to fix their issue, but still I think it's a good read. Sorry for the overly dramatic title, but I truly feel like this is happening and I need to get your people's attention to get at least some advice. I'm from Russia and I'm not trying to bring any politics here, gods no. The matter is, I've been a fellow Helldiver since day 3 of the game and clocked in almost 400 hours since, level 108 at the moment of writing. Without underestimating, I can say that this game is really important for me and I've met a countless amount of friends and other amazing people and I truly love this community and the game like I almost never had before with any other games. So the issue is, with the new PSN account requirements being from where I am, I cannot create a PSN account. VPN seem to not help, at least the one that I'm using, which is Urban VPN. And I tried to register from a different region when creating a new account, which I didn't think would work, but still worth a try. So I'm quite lost right now. This game means so much to me and my friends. I don't want to lose access to it because some damn politics that I cannot really control. I really need some help or at least a piece of advice to resolve this issue. Thank you in advance. This is going to be the experience of so many people and if Arrowhead had any sway in this decision, they should have fought back against it really hard. And maybe they have because check out this response from Twinbeard in the Discord. Somebody said, take people's money. They ask if they'll be region locked. 
respond with maybe, stellar customer support. Twinbeard says, it's because the decision is not ours, nothing to do with bad customer support, we don't know, you can always ask Sony, but until they offer us a more detailed response, we'll reply to the best of our ability with the limited information we have. Should there have been an FAQ? Yes. And this is really big, I hope and I pray that Arrowhead actually find a solution for this, because right now this is not looking good fam. This is how you kill a game. Sony has a security breach, you buy Helldivers 2 on PC cause you trust Valve. Sony forcing you to make a PSN account. Wait, Sony forcing you to make a PSN account. <laughs> the current Helldivers 2 situation in a nutshell. And we have the Obi-Wan meme. You were the chosen one. You were supposed to humble AAA titles, not join them. And we have this really funny post connecting Arrowhead Studios, Sony and Breaking Bad. It's just hilarious. All of this, falling apart like this is on you. Wow. Why don't you walk me? We had a good thing, you stupid son of a bitch. You could have yeah. shut your mouth, cooked, and made as much money as you ever needed. It was perfect. But no, you just had to blow it up. You just had to be the man. If you'd done your job, known your place, we'd all be fine right now. Next up, I feel so much safer now, and we have the Ralph meme where he goes, I'm in danger because account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players, and then on the right, Sony data breaches, full timeline, I went through that earlier in this video. Then we have a trade offer, I receive your personal data, and you receive playing the game you've owned for 3 months. And the trader making you the offer is Sony. Next up we have this post, I guess this is goodbye, from a level 90 Helldiver. And we see a screenshot that the PlayStation Network is not available in the Philippines. I'm really sorry for that man. And to finish this all off, we have this really funny post which made me laugh. This sounds fishy, not gonna lie. You must make a Sony account for your safety. Say the truth Arrowhead, I'm saying the truth. Why do you really need Steam players to add a Sony account? Sony wants the data. Thank you, but that was about it for the video fam, I hope you really liked it, if you did make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel for even more Helldivers 2 content, and make sure you tell me what you think about this whole situation in the comments below.